Hello again, creative crafters. Today we are all about Moses. That's right, we're talking about this wonderful story of God's protection and providence over the life of baby Moses. So we have two crafts that actually have that same theme. It's gonna be Moses in a basket. The first one that we're going to do is we're going to use a paper bag as our motivation, inspiration for our basket. Now in both of these cases, we're also going to add some decorations with water and grass. So you'll need some regular construction paper or cardstock, a paper bag, some coloring utensils, scissors, etc. regular crafting tools. Now, I'm gonna start off, I'm actually going to cut the bag in half, and then I'm going to fold up the sides of it. So, I have my bag, and as you can see, this will turn into my basket, but I just need to fold this side so that both of them are enclosed. And I'm going to kind of do this similar to a Christmas package, if you've ever done that. Just fold the corners down there. And then kind of pop it up so that I can get it nice and secure. And you can either glue or tape or staple. And now I have this lovely enclosed basket. If you would like to, if you want to add some extra basket elements, you could put some lines like kind of a crisscross weave pattern of sorts. Of course you don't have to. And like I said, we're also going to be adding some outside decorations, but first we're gonna work on Moses. I'm gonna show you two ways that you can make baby Moses. There are more. You could, actually I'm gonna show you three. You could make a simple paper baby Moses. And we're going to make him yellow so it doesn't clash with the white because we're going to use this for our next craft as well. But we're just going to cut out a little baby shape. Kind of make him like a bean. And then we'll draw on this to create baby Moses number one possibility. So, he's all swaddled up to keep him nice and safe. And he's sleeping because he's being rocked by the river. He's even smiling, look at that. I don't know if that was accurate, but you know. So here's baby Moses number one. You could simply put paper baby Moses into your basket. Or if you wanna get a little more creative and fun, we can make a cup baby Moses. And this one I'm actually going to, I'm gonna add his face. We're gonna put his face at the top of the cup here. This time baby Moses is going to be awake. And then we're gonna put, he's very lively for a newborn, you know? We're gonna put some crepe paper to kind of make it look like he's got sort of a wrapping around him. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo. make sure we don't cover up his little face. And 
there we have baby Moses method number two and for extra fun here we go Moses in his little basket I guess it's a big basket but you know had to protect him out of the river number three this is kind of a fun one we can use a sock and our sock is going to be baby Moses if you need a little more stability in it you could add some cotton batting or perhaps a cup or you can just have the sock as well whatever you want and that's a fun one baby Moses number three so we're gonna make this one sleeping again and again there are other things too get creative and make it your little baby Moses but there's my baby Moses here's his basket now I'm gonna add some decorations to the outside of the basket so I'm going to do some waves because Moses was going down the river and God protected him in that water we're gonna just do some fun water and you can put that on either side but we're gonna add some water and then we're gonna add some bulrushes we're gonna add some of those fun grassy stems because Moses was going down in the water and then he landed in the grass or the reeds or whatever um, so we're gonna take some green paper and gonna make some nice long grassy stems like Moses might have gotten cut up in and we're gonna put this on the back side of our basket I almost said boat but it's not a boat it's a basket and then we can add a caption to remember what this is all about. Why we have this lovely, lovely craft going on. So that is not on stick. So, Moses, boat, basket, river, grass, and caption. So we can say something as simple as God protects us, baby Moses is saved. Hooray! So there you have it, craft number one. Now don't worry. Number two is not quite as complicated, I don't think. So we're gonna make Moses again. We're gonna make his basket again. This time, we're going to use a paper plate. So this is going to be my basket. I'm gonna cut the plate in half. And I'm actually going to be putting those two sides together. So, before I stick them together, I'm going to decorate this and I'm going to again kind of make some crisscross pattern, a little weaving. If you have time and you want to put some paper over here to make it look extra fun, you can. I'm just gonna do one side for now, but please, of course, feel free to do both. I'm gonna throw some brown on to make this look like a basket. 
You could even put some tape around the outside, pretend it's the tar, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to attach it to that back side here. And we'll add our Moses. And we'll add our water again. And here's some waves. We can add some more grass. Let's see. We could just put it there we go. Let's just put it right on this backdrop here. Here's my grass. Here's my waves. And we can have the basket kind of sitting between the grass and the waves, nestled like that. Here's my baby Moses tucked safely inside the basket. And let's throw another caption on here. Let's see. Moses. God's protection and plans. And there you have, voila, Moses craft option number two. So, just a reminder, at the end of the day, we have Moses in the paper plate basket floating down the Nile River. We have sock Moses in the paper bag or we also have cup Moses. So several materials, several options for you to have fun with Moses. Of course, there are many, many others. So feel free to take it, make it your own. Hopefully it can be a blessing and benefit to you and your ministry, wherever and with whomever that might be. Have a great time teaching the story of Moses and the Exodus. Now, what are you waiting for? Go make some crafts, make some disciples, and we will see you next time.